Before we jump into this workout, guys, check it out. This is the start of the construction of my new house in Florida. Look at this guy. He's installing the pipes as we speak. Very exciting, and you'll definitely be seeing more and hearing more of this as construction continues. And now, time for the workout. I felt like spiking it up today because it was a, it's a special occasion. Today is going to be our first day doing an actual arm day. So biceps and triceps, usually all the workouts I'm doing for push-pull legs and my cheat and recover, arms and, uh, well, biceps and triceps are a part of like back day and chest day, which they still are now, but because now we're training five days a week, we have a set aside a separate day to just blast the arms. So you guys are gonna definitely wanna try this workout. So make sure you pay attention to it. But I will say, Make sure you warm up properly because we're lifting some heavy weight and like I said, the main difference is we're going right into arms. So usually like for example, if we're doing triceps, we've had enough time to get nice and warm from all the chest exercises that we do and the shoulder exercises that we do because on our push day we do chest, triceps and shoulders. Today, jumping right into some heavy ass dips. So warm them shoulders up and let's get it going. You don't know what to say. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Just take the thing Just take and warm the bungee. Shoulders. Take the bungee. <laughs> Guys, this is obviously one of my favorite shoulder warm-ups. Um, you won't see this on camera, but I'll probably be doing these shoulder breakers in between a lot of my sets just to make sure that I stay nice and loose, don't get any injuries. All right, guys, so you're going to see a few warm-ups. This is the first one, just body weight all the way down and all the way up to get those shoulders nice and loose. Oh, yeah. Drink that rush. Get the rush. The Do rush. you feel the rush? I feel the rush. You feel the rush. <laughs> Do you feel the rush, Mello? Do you feel it? You feel the rush. All right, now that everyone feels the rush, Bello included, I'm gonna do one more warm up set, but as you guys can see, I'm actually doing this warm up set with weight. And then as soon as that warm up set's over, Joe did his warm up set, and then I'm gonna load my three plates to stop my working sets. And guys, I'm doing eight sets of this, okay? So that means you're gonna be doing dips for a while. So it is imperative that while you're doing these sets, that if you need to continue to warm up in between reps, that you do that. Now I am doing cheat and recover reps for this workout. If you guys want to see the full cheat and recover program, um, it has been posted on my website, MuscularStrength.com, so make sure you go to the site and check it out. I'll post a link down in the info section below and in my pinned comment. But as you can see guys, what I'm doing here is I'm jumping up, locking out my elbows, and then once I'm in safely in place, I'm focusing on that slow negative, fighting as much as possible, really trying to rip and tear my triceps as hard as I possibly can while always staying safe. That's why I have this position the way I have it. So if I do fall or I do fail, I can just put my feet down and catch myself. And then as soon as you finish those um, eight cheat reps, you're gonna do eight recover reps. And guys, if you're doing really, really heavy weighted dips, by the time you get to those body weight ones, it's gonna feel like your body weighs nothing. But as you can see, I'm still going all the way down and all the way up in every wow. single repetition, no matter what. Back up to three plates! Feels good! I'll tell you what, guys, those body weight dips right after, my body felt light as a feather. My arms were still fatigued, but it felt so much easier than the last two weeks of doing this. It's crazy. So I did want to show one more set of the dips because I did the first set with my sweatshirt on um, and I wanted to show you guys one more set. And this is typically what I do. I try to stay in my sweatshirt as much as possible to keep my body as warm as possible. Then I only take it off once I get warm. And it's, I'm in New England, so it stays pretty cold around here. It's still pretty cold out right now. But I just wanted you guys to see that I'm getting a full extension and I'm going all the way down. I'm lowering myself as much as I possibly can before putting my feet down. Then as soon as you're done, obviously, go back to those body weight dips, making sure you're getting a full extension and going all the way down on every single repetition. Really feel the burn in the triceps. All right, guys, now we're gonna switch it up. And instead of doing incline dumbbell curls, we're gonna do cheat and recover with standing dumbbell curls, and we're gonna superset it with some rack pulls. For this exercise, we're gonna be doing eight sets as well, eight reps per side. Guys, 
alternating dumbbell curls. If you've never done them before with Cheat and Recover, they can get super intense. But I want you to take note of a few really important things. Number one, when I bring the weight up, I'm supinating my wrist and then maintaining that the entire way down. The only reason why my, my palms are facing in on the bottom during this exercise is because we're not worried about the concentric phase of the movement right now, so it doesn't matter how my hand is, that's the easiest way to hold the dumbbells and save energy, so I can focus on expending that energy as much as possible during the cheat reps. Now, you'll also notice that as I lower the dumbbell, that my elbow is staying in line or slightly in front of my hips. That is going to be crucial for you guys to ensure that you're activating your biceps as much as possible. And then as soon as you're done eight reps per side, you're gonna lower the weight and do your recover reps. And you'll notice here, guys, I'm still alternating from left to right, but I am keeping my hand in the supinated position the entire time, because as you know, as soon as you supinate or turn your hand out, you activate the biceps. So we wanna keep the biceps activated throughout the entire range of motion of every single rep of every single set during the recover reps. And again, we're doing eight sets of the dips and then eight sets of the alternating dumbbell curl. And you guys are gonna be absolutely fried, but man, it's gonna make you just wanna do more. You know, the crazy thing about those dumbbell curls is I was feeling the negatives like more in my traps because they're still so damn sore from being trained this week. It's like, Controlling the negative as I come down, just pulling my arm like this, traps are getting sore. Well, just means we gotta work them harder, so let's go superset that right now. For the rack pull, guys, I want you lifting as much as you possibly can, and remember, this is all about getting that deep stretch in the traps, and we're supersetting it with the biceps, so just make sure that as you pull the weight up that you're getting your arms fully locked out first. You shouldn't try to jolt the weight into the air. You want to push through your feet, get those arms fully locked, and then once you feel those arms fully locked, that's when you're going to push through your hips and lift that barbell up off the rack, as you can see how I'm doing it right here. And this it's an unconventional superset, guys, but at the end of the day, trying to get my traps to grow, so I'm going to superset them in my workouts whenever I can and whenever it makes sense, and this definitely does. And then as soon as you finish eight sets of the dips and the biceps, what's going to happen is you're gonna finish off with a super set targeting triceps and biceps. So you're gonna start off here at the triceps push down. And as you can see, I'm utilizing cheat and recover here. These are the cheat reps. So what I'm doing is I'm using a bit of momentum and I'm pushing that weight down as far as I can uh, using a bit of my body momentum. And then as soon as I get to the bottom position, I stand up straight and control the negative. Doing the cheat reps is all about controlling the negative. And then as soon as you finish all of these repetitions, you're gonna lower the weight and do perfect form for the recover reps. And it is imperative that when you do those recover reps, guys, that you do maintain perfect form, which is elbows slightly in front of hips and chest up, and making sure that you're going all the way up and all the way down on every single repetition. I mean, the lighting is kind of crap here, but you can still see the serious pump that I'm getting from this movement, especially doing it after the dips and alternating dumbbell curl. And then as soon as you're done, you're gonna go into my favorite seated bicep exercise, which is the dumbbell hammer curl. Now, yes, obviously it's not a bicep specific movement. We're targeting more of the brachialis and brachioradialis, but to end your bicep workout with super heavy hammer curls, guys, it's one of my absolute favorite movements to do at the end of my arm workout. And if you start doing cheat and recover with it like I am, it's gonna be one of your favorites as well. As you can see, my, my feet are kind of underneath me at this point, as opposed to being in front on the pegs. And this is just because I need them there for stability. When you're tossing around big dumbbells, it tends to throw your body around. So having your feet closer to you and, and underneath you the way they were helps with stability. But then when it comes time for the recover repetitions, the weight is much lighter, so if you wanna put your feet in front of you, that's fine. But there are some, some things I am keeping in mind during a cheat and recover reps. As I lower the weight, I am keeping my elbows in line or slightly in front of my hips, 
and then on the recover repetitions, as the dumbbells go up, the same exact thing is happening. Do not let your elbows slide backwards. That is the last thing you want to have happen when doing any biceps exercise, unless you're doing drag curls, but that's another story for another day. Focus on hammers with proper form and get those gains. Oh man, guys, if you haven't tried cheat and recover on them hammer curls, like you can just overload so much. I mean, don't let your arm just fall down. Make sure you're controlling that negative. But the pump is incredible, and if you're not much of a of a bicep guy like me, like biceps probably one of my least favorite muscle groups to train. Hammer curls are still by far one of my favorite exercises to do. I don't, I don't know why, I just love doing them. I'm gonna do some more. All right guys, that wraps up today's workout. We hit some biceps and triceps. I just feel amazing, I feel great. The pump is unreal, and my body is just continuing to transform day after day. Uh, this is our third weekend, this is the first week where Joe and I have been able to train all five days in a row, granted, we did train the legs yesterday. Um, I didn't even post any footage on my Instagram stories because we were just both dragging ass. But we still got here, we still got it done. You guys probably actually would enjoy that content more, but <laughs> I'll make sure I film it next time. I just didn't wanna post another leg day before I posted my, my arm day. But workout was great, if you guys wanna try it, if you have any questions about it, comment below. If you wanna see the full Cheat and Recover program, Go to my website, musculostrength.com, or just click the link down in my pinned comment. Now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get some food, and uh, I'm gonna get to work. Had so many bottles, gave ugly girl a sip. Out the window of the bands, a week is in the red. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, Hey, go poop. He's like one of the only dogs in the world. When you tell him to go poop, he actually will go poop. <laughs> All right guys, so I did something really dumb the other day and as I was walking around in my studio, I managed to like nick my powerlifting shoe on the side of, or the corner of my dip station. I had it on the ground, it has a sharp edge and I gashed my shoe and I was really pissed because these shoes are like brand new because I only use them when I squat but I just dropped them off at this place last week and they're finally done they're fixed let's go get them so check it out guys these are my shoes you can kind you can barely see it this gash right here was so deep and he managed to patch it up and then I'm trying I'm, I'm purposely getting angles to show it, but I mean, you can't even tell anymore. And it was a huge gash right there. And here's, this is the mad genius, the shoe cobbler shop. He fixes all my shoes and Erica's shoes, not just not just lifting shoes. Hey guys, is that you right there? Is that a personal portrait? <laughs> 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 looks good though, thanks man, it looks you great. Took the Camaro out today. Let's go say hi to my bro. Hi. Before I start work today, Broly has arrived to Dragon Ball Fighters, and so I need to download him. And this weekend is going to be a fun weekend. Guys, Broly is a beast! For those of you who don't know, I have a gaming channel. The name is Oh The Hermanity. So if you're into gaming and you wanna check it out, I do a lot of Dokken Battle, a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters, Call of Duty, and I do live streaming there as well. So head on over to there and check it out later on today. It's been a long week, and I kind of want to get out of the house, so I decided to treat myself to my favorite Chinese restaurant, Umi. Here's my food right here. I pretty much get the same thing. I get chicken, green beans, and rice. Although today, I decided to get a vegetable egg roll as well, just because it looked really delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's good. The whole the Training the whole week really hard, sticking to my meal plan every day really hard, and then at the end of the week, if I want to go out and get some Chinese food, then that's what I'm going to do. So, here we are. Babe, time for some guac? Yeah. At this place, they do, do you, when you get guac, they make it fresh right in front of you, and you get to pick if it's like hot, medium, or, or spicy. It's really good. All right, babe, try it. How is it? That's good. Thank you so much. Thank Perfect. You. You guys didn't see it. I did give him a nice tip. 
nice. He deserves it. Check this out. So after uh, after Chinese food, we went home, and then we were lazy all day, just watching TV in bed. And then we decided to go out and get some food and get some and drinks. Margarita. And have a margarita. Sometimes you just gotta enjoy life a little bit. We trained. Well, you didn't. You weren't there. Joe and I trained really hard all week. Uh, five days this week. First, our, my first week doing five days at six o'clock in the morning. Felt great. I'm already gonna be sore as hell. So. And I'm just going to relax, I'm going to feed myself with as much food as possible, and just get ready to hit it again. Right, babe? Right.